Okay, hi guys, my name is Shelby, and welcome to Voice for the Vanished. This is the absolutely beautiful 43-year-old Allison McKenzie. She has lived in Arizona since the 80s, 1988 to be exact, where she raised two children who are now of adult age this past year was incredibly hard on allison somewhere during 2019 her father as well as her stepfather both tragically passed away and as anyone can imagine it was incredibly hard on allison and since she had two adult children now and was just struggling with the loss of two really important people to her she decided to go on a six-month trip across the world essentially her allison has a boyfriend named Paige rote or rot it's r-o-t-e i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that and he is 58 years old they decided to go together on a vacation just to clear her mind she since she has two adult children it's the perfect time to travel and see the world and get a new perspective, just see some new things. To be gone for six months in Belize, which is in Central America. They planned on buying some sort of land or some sort of home in Belize. I'm not exactly sure if they were going to buy something or rent something but they did plan on getting some land and some sort of house as they were going to be there for six months and it's probably the least expensive way to do it but they fully planned on returning to america in about may of 2020 they just wanted to really get away and enrich themselves in a different culture and a different town they left arizona for belize in december of 2019 and during the week of january 18th 2020 they were on a tour with Ragamuffin Tours, which is based in Belize, and it's basically a tour where you would camp overnight and every day go out and see different landscapes, bodies of water, and search different areas for tourists, basically. Any, anything like that, they were taking part in. One night of the tour, while camping at Rendezvous K, which is a small island Paige and allison were having a great time on the tour and according to some according to the police people reported that allison was drinking and tour officials believed that her behavior was quote-unquote erratic but obviously this is a point of view of someone who doesn't really know allison and is also from a different country i don't i just don't want to be biased towards any side um, but they do classify her behavior as erratic. And according to the police and the Coast Guard, they told Channel 5 Belize that Friday night that she started behaving suspiciously. Now, Allison's sister actually says that it's not like her to drink at all and that she's never even seen her drink or be intoxicated at all. But obviously, as if you know true crime... People do things that are unlike them. It's very common for people to actually will very willingly do things that their family members may say isn't like them, wouldn't be them, different things like that. So it's, again, take it with a grain of salt. I don't want to be biased to any party. Maybe she did drink because she was having a hard time and she's in Belize and wanted to do it. According to one other tour passenger that was on the tour with Paige and Allison, she says that she last saw Allison speaking to the captain of the tours at 2.30 a.m. right before she saw Allison walk over to her tent and go in for what she assumed would be the night. So this is the last account of what we really know Allison did for sure. So she spoke to the captain who there's not much information on him and what they were speaking about it could just be something casual as they're on a tour together or it could be something different we we don't know at all and that is the only information we have of the night before she really went missing or the morning actually since it was 2 30 the next account we have is when her boyfriend Paige reported her missing at 6 a.m that following morning or i guess that same morning um this is what really makes police 
confused, I think, or even me confused. Obviously, in most cases of people going missing, their spouse or their partner or their boyfriend, girlfriend, anything at the time is the first looked at, especially when they're together in the same place. But he reported her missing only a couple hours after the last passenger on the tour saw her go into her tent. And he reported her missing as soon as he realized she was missing. He wasn't putting it off. He didn't try and look for her himself. He just noticed she was missing and immediately reported it, which really puts us in a good situation as far as knowing that Paige is not responsible. The police have also said that Paige is not a suspect at all, and he has been completely cooperative and doing everything he can in the searches and cooperating with police to give them everything he knows about the night before or the night during Allison's disappearance. Now, it is obviously possible that Allison walked off on her own for no particular reason. Maybe she just wanted to get some air again. She was reportedly intoxicated. Maybe she was walking around to calm some sort of nerves, maybe just to get some fresh air and didn't see some body of water. Maybe maybe fell in some body of water. Maybe she decided to go for a swim, not realizing how deep it was or how intoxicated she was and drowned. It's very possible. And I believe her mother does think that, that is a huge possibility. And while that is possible it's also there's not many things that contribute to that being a possibility i believe that they have searched the waters around the areas and have not found anything yet so she really could be anywhere and because there's so little information and because this is still so new it's not that new but it's it's also been just over a week since it happened on the day that i'm filming this There is not much more we know about what happened or any information involving the disappearance of Allison McKenzie, but I wanted to share this video to get her story, her face, and all her information out there so that she can return home safely to Arizona and to her two daughters, her mother, and her whole family who loves her so much. I can't imagine what they're going through at this time. And as I always ask you guys, I don't care who you believe in, what you believe in, or what you don't believe in. Please send prayers, good thoughts, good feelings, good vibes, thoughts, hope, love, strength, anything good, Allison's way and Allison's family's way. They really need that right now. And I don't care if you guys share my video or you share her face, her missing persons flyer, or her information. It doesn't matter to me. Just share her story, share her face, and let's bring her home. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next case.